Ready for a new style? Call Double A Salon in Wheeler Springs Plaza, 775-764-1898. As a financial advisor, husband, and father of five, Dan Goode keeps pretty busy. So when he started having bowel issues, he didn't think much of it. I always thought it was maybe what I was eating or like lactose intolerance. But the 39-year-old symptoms persisted and his wife grew concerned. So it progressively kept getting a little bit worse and a little bit worse. And that's when I had mentioned it to my wife and she's like, yeah, you got to get it checked out. It didn't take long before his doctors at Cleveland Clinic discovered what was wrong. He had more than 100 polyps in his colon and was at high risk for colorectal cancer. Because of the large number of polyps, with each one of them having the potential to turn into a cancer, the best treatment would be removing all of the colon leaving the rectum in place, and then hooking up the small intestine to the rectum. Dr. David Liska performed Dan's surgery. He says everything went well. It's a large surgery, but we can do it minimally invasively, meaning very small incisions. And so the recovery is actually not as bad as, as you'd think it would be. And people do very well with uh, having that part of the colon removed. Dan is now back at work and hasn't had any other problems. I literally feel better than I did before the surgery. However, he does have have one regret. Probably something I should have done a long time ago is just get regular checkups. Especially with colorectal cancer cases on the rise in young adults, Dr. Liska says they aren't sure what's causing the trend. There are many different theories. You know, it's, it's definitely related to what we eat, um, but it's possibly also related to the microbiome, meaning the bacteria that live in our guts. Regardless, he says it's important not to ignore any symptoms. For Cleveland Clinic, I'm Brittany Harris.